from the previous learning we have this data file percent underscore dot sav in this data file we have percentage score of 500 candidates and we calculated that out for these 500 candidates mean is 50.82 median is 50.99 mod is 50.83 so approximately mean mod and median are equal for all practical purposes so in this learning we are talking about the areas under the normal curve so this distribution results in a normal curve and we can safely conclude that this is a normal distribution so percentage score of 500 candidate forms a normal distribution now we are talking about area under the normal curve in textbooks we often read that approximately 60 percent of all the values in normally distributed population lie within plus minus one standard deviation of the mean plus one standard deviation here we have shown it already and minus one standard deviation and approximately 68 percent of the values lie within this so 60 percent of the area under the curve uh, is occupied by plus minus one standard deviation from the mean and moreover we read that plus minus two standard deviations cover 95.5 percent of area approximately so we can say approximately later we will draw the table so this is approximate value so approximately 95.5 percent of all the values in the normally distributed population lie within plus minus two standard deviation from the mean this is what we can say and what about three standard deviations so plus minus three standard deviations on this side and minus three standard deviations on the other side these would cover approximately 99.7 percent of the area now the question arises this is what we learn theoretically we have this data file right here and we want to find the area under the curve exactly and we want to find the z scores before that so how we can do that in spss this is what we are learning here let us now talk about z score so whenever we have a population data set Z score is computed as the actual value of the X minus the mean of the distribution divided by standard deviation of the distribution. Similarly, if we have a sample data set, then Z score is of course the value of X minus uh, the mean of the sample divided by standard deviation of the sample. So formula remains the same. And uh, now z score does what so we have learned z score of a population uh, distribution or population data is computed like this right so here the mean is here given to us mean is given 50.82 standard deviation is a number it is given to us standard deviation is 13.927 x the value of x changes from number to individual number so these are the values of x for all the 500 variables right so but the question is we learned how to calculate z score but what z score actually does z score actually standardizes the distribution so from normal distribution we move to the standardized distribution so this is normal distribution because here we actually have these percentage values so actual percentage score is here so when actual score x 
is converted into z score so we calculate z score at each value of x so at mean if at mean we calculate the z score right at mean the z score would be 0 so this way we calculate the z score for each value of x and this way we are converting this normal distribution into the standardized normal distribution and this standardized normal distribution will help us in answering the questions about the distribution why we have data we want to interpret the data we want to draw conclusion so the standardized normal distribution will help us drawing the conclusions about the observed data so let us for this data file percentage underscore dot sav compute the z scores with the help of spss we go to analyze we go to descriptives we go to descriptive statistics and descriptives again here we have our one and only variable percentage underscore score and i move it to this side and here clearly we see that save standardized values as variables so this is nothing else but we are converting the actual percentage score into the z score and i click ok and here we are spss has computed the z scores for us so if you want to do one thing that if you want to make a more sense out of it i will do what i will clear this variable for the time being if you it is a good idea i would say that before computing z scores we should actually actually sort the data so let us go to data and then sort cases and i will pick this variable we will sort the variable in ascending order and we want to save the sorted data in a separate file so let us give that file a name suppose we want to save this as percentage score sorted say one percentage score sorted one this file i click save and then i click ok now what has happened is that now all our percentage score has been sorted in ascending order and then if we look at the name at the top spss has created a new data file for this so our original file is saved and this sorted percentage score is now available to us now after this if we like we can convert this into z scores so or we can say i can calculate z score for this sorted file so z score shows us that here our minimum percentage score of 18.66 has a z score of minus 2.30919 so if you like you can reduce the z score decimal points to say 3 if you like so here we have z scores and these z scores go all the way from minus 2.309 to 2.725 for the 500th case so we have 500 candidates for which we have percentage scores now the next thing is once we have got the z scores what we will like we will like to compute the area under the curve for each of these values and we will do that in the next movie thank you